Thanks from Stratify here. So we uh, had our Ford Focus RS go in for the uh, famous or infamous uh, head gasket recall and uh, we had a little bit more work done to the car while we were at it. Uh, we replaced the rods and the pistons. The engine had very low mileage so we were able to drop in a set of uh, manly rods and uh, molly pistons. Um, so when we, once we got all the OEM parts out we wanted to go a little bit over uh, what uh, some of the differences and similarities between the 2.0 and the 2.3 uh, rods and pistons and uh, talk a little bit about their failure modes as well. So here we have, we'll start with the, with the connecting rods. So this connecting rod is from a 2.0 uh, EcoBoost engine and uh, this connecting rod is from a 2.3 EcoBoost engine, the RS. Uh, you can probably see that geometrically they're very, very similar. Uh, actually, although the 2.3 liter engine has a longer stroke, the uh, 2.0 rod is actually longer. And that's just uh, due to the uh, positioning of the, of the pin and the piston. So, uh, but as you can see, the, uh, they're, they're powder forged. They both have uh, cracked end caps. Uh, and uh, obviously machined afterwards. The bushing on the small end is very similar with the RS actually having uh, a couple uh, a couple of cutouts here for uh, better lubrication or, or to get oil in there a little bit better versus the 2.0. But actually the rods, um, we don't we haven't tested them the metals uh, inside them to see how different they are. but uh, physically and uh, cosmetically they look very, very similar. Uh, ironically, we see that uh, the 2.0 will will break a piston generally before it'll break a rod, and the 2.3 will will toss a rod. So, one of the reasons why that is is uh, unlikely to be really because of the rod construction itself, and more so to do with the fact that the 2.0 uh, generally will experience less torque, having a uh, less displacement and a smaller stroke, and then the 2.3 having more fueling available, a larger turbo, uh, and uh, a larger stroke which promotes low end torque, we'll just see these rods being cycled more often in the high torque regions. And uh, as you know, cycling any sort of metal beyond, uh, beyond its infinite load limit will eventually fatigue it and, and you'll see uh, a fracture. So moving on to the pistons, uh, the pistons here, this is a piston from a 2.0 EcoBoost. This is a piston from the 2.3 in the RS. And um, the pistons themselves, the construction, there are some differences for sure. So you can see that the injector pocket here for the distribution of fuel is, is quite different in the 2.3 versus the 2.0. Uh, I believe that Ford has done some advancements in terms of how the fuel swirls and tumbles uh, and mixes within the combustion chamber on the newer 2.3 versus the 2.0. 2.0 being the older design engine. Another interesting aspect of these pistons is that you can see these, these small holes here that are the oil return ho holes from the uh, scraper rings. So there's only one, two, uh, three, and four on the 2.0. And the 2.3 has more of these return holes. Now this is a lower mileage piston, so you can see that there's less oil staining. Uh, but uh, these help in return more oil uh, into the crankcase and prevent it from building up into these ringlands. Um, and talking about ringlands, so Ford has, has improved uh, the ringland construction in the 2.3. So if you can see these um, different color metal inserts so the top ring land actually has steel carriers inside this cast aluminum uh, piston so this makes the top ring land stronger and if we have a quick look at the 2.0 this one has more oil staining but you can clearly see that the very top here does not have a steel insert there is what looks like to be an insert uh, right below the piston ring uh, right right in there but nothing at the top. So definitely the top ring land has been reworked by Ford. And this brings us to the common failure mode in the 2.0, which, uh, which is a crack ring land, uh, which then leads to, to this kind of damage. So here you can see that, well, this, this piston is it's basically melted through and the end result of a crack ring land is, is this kind of um, irreversible damage 
or the engine has to be rebuilt and you can then see that all the ring lands below it are, uh, are cracked. Now interestingly this piston from the 2.0 is from the same engine that, that has suffered this failure and if you look at the crown you can see that there's very little pitting so these engines are not experiencing a lot of detonation which could fall in line with like okay we've cracked the ring land and this has been our failure mode. Now the reason why they don't see a lot of detonation, part of it is because the uh, the ECUs are very fast at responding to knock. And you know, if the tune is set up correctly, then they'll pull timing quickly enough that you're not going to see the classic pitting that you see on the crowns of older vehicles where they would just kind of ping forever, yet not fail as catastrophically as you see here. So the reason for, for some of these failures really has to come down to LSPI and, and the mixing of fuel and oil uh, that will then cause a pre-ignition event and will crack a ring land. Uh, now, um, Ford has, has done some work to, to mitigate this in the 2.3. We've talked about the, the, the mixing bowl here. It seems that they have done something with the injection and perhaps prevented it from, from hitting the opposing cylinder wall. Uh, when when the injector sprays. Uh, we've also talked about the uh, oil return holes which help mitigate and, and remove some of the oil that can get trapped in here. Uh, and uh, and also they've reinforced on the 2.3 the, the ring lens themselves. So now uh, our RS has uh, manly uh, rods and, and molly pistons and uh, this will strengthen overall the uh, the engine but I think that it was it was quite interesting to see uh, these 2.0 and 2.3 parts side by side and explore a little bit the differences and similarities uh, between them so overall the EcoBoost engines are quite strong and they're very much in line with what you see in today's modern direct injection engines uh, the uh, ECUs are especially powerful at, at dealing with adverse conditions such as NOx so although you may see corrections uh, on your access port uh, of course if they're if they're consistent then they're, they're largely should be dealt with but at the same time um, it, we strongly believe that the failure modes especially on the 2.0 these these failed pistons uh, are not they don't have such a strong correlation as it may seem to some of the knock that you see uh, on your access port or when you're when you're data logging and it has more to do with the the properties of the di engine the properties of the fuel uh, mixture the oil present in the combustion chamber uh, and and lspi which is which is as you can see a quite a quite a detrimental has quite a detrimental effect on the engines so that's it for now and we'll talk to you next time